Greetings, my brother and my sister, Reverend Dr. Southern Bridges, pastor of the Bethlehem No More Missionary Baptist Church, Conway South Carolina. Southern, we're grateful to all of you that is tuned in online or wherever you may be during this time of the day, of the evening. We want to say thank God for you uh, each Wednesday night. So I thank God for my beautiful wife to accompany us, amen, in this Bible study, this Bible lesson, amen, on each Wednesday night as well. We're not going to tear it. We're going to get into this word of God, a beautiful lesson tonight. We're using our Sunday school books, and uh, you may not have a book to use, but we're coming from the book of Ezra, chapter 6, verses 1 through 12. Ezra, chapter 6, verse 1 through 12. The devotional reading is uh, 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. But the subject of this lesson, and it's, it's an on time lesson, we call it Freedom to Worship freedom to worship and so tonight we ask that you just tune in pray with us pray for us amen as we get into this word tonight we ask uh, first bridges to open up with a word of prayer then we'll get started amen let us pray mm -hmm. father god in the name of jesus lord thanking you for this day thank you lord lord we love you we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor lord god mm -hmm. and lord we're thanking you lord for the freedom that we have the freedom mm -hmm. that we have lord to worship you the freedom lord that we have just to be able to have uh a place to worship you, Lord. Yes. We just thank you right now for all thank you're doing, you, all you're doing right now in our lives. Thank bless you. those that, that tune in on us each Wednesday night, Lord God. Mm. Bless their families. Bless them going in and going out. In yes. the name of Jesus, just have your mighty way in our lives. Have bless your way. study. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Sister Bridget. always said that prayer still works. Yeah. Prayer still changes things. So we thank God tonight. Once again, the subject is freedom to worship coming from the book of Ezra, chapter 6, verses 1 uh, through 12. We follow the outline, which is in our book, The Aim for Change, conveys to us what we should learn from the lesson. Then we go to the end focus, which is a story that relates to the lesson. Then we're going to keep in mind the verse uh, from the lesson itself. Mm -hmm. Then we talk about a little bit about the background places and things, etc. Then we go into the Word of God for tonight. Come on, Sister Bridget Wood, read Aim for Change, and uh, and focus and keep in mind. Amen. Aim for change. By the end of this lesson, we will review the pro pro provoto role of Darius in getting a new temple built in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Ponder excuses, excuses we offer for failing to act in accordance with God's will mm -hmm. and confess our failings before God. Receive the joy of forgiveness and get on the task at hand. Mm -hmm. In focus, Maddie and Erica had been best friends since college. Mm -hmm. They were there for uh, the other through all the highs and lows. Every breakup and promotion both women knew, they count on their sister to be in their corner praying, celebrating, and comforting them. Mm -hmm. Erica was having another low in her life after the birth of her and her husband's husband, Ryan's first daughter. Mm -hmm. Having her little mini-me was one of the happiest moments of her life. Mm -hmm. But since they came home from the hospital two months ago, Erica's emotions were all over the place. Mm -hmm. She didn't feel like herself anymore. She thought no one would understand. One day, Maddie stopped by Erica to visit. Maddie didn't hear from Erica since the baby was born, mm -hmm. but Maddie figured Erica was just getting adjusted to being a mom. Mm -hmm. Maddie was shocked to see her best friend state. Mm -hmm. Girl, what is wrong? Maddie asked holding the baby for Erica. Everything, all she does is cry. All Ryan does is work. Mm -hmm. I never get a moment to myself. My body isn't the same. I just need a break from everything. Mm. Erica, why didn't you call me? It sounded like the might sound like this might be postpartum depression, mm. Matt explained. We may need to make you an appointment to see what's wrong. I didn't think you'd understand, Erica said. We are sisters. We can come you can come to me any to me about anything, mm. and I'll be by your side. Mm -hmm. I can ask my sister. Who she went to be went to about her postpartum, said Maddie, hugging Erica. How do you know when it's time to ask for help? Amen. Praise God. And brothers and sisters, there's a time in our life that we have faced situation and that's time we just don't know what to do. Uh -uh. That's why it's always good to stay tuned in with the Lord. Stay prayed up because we know situations bring different results. And as we uh -huh. can see in this story with Maddie and how Erica was trying to handle the problem on our own. But being a child of God, we must recognize the fact, brothers and sisters, that whenever you're in Christ, mm -hmm. amen, you're not alone. 
Amen. The Lord is there with you. That's when you got to know to call on help from the Lord. Amen. And then not only that, but there was a saying said that when old saying said when a man have reached his extremities, then it is God's opportunity. Amen. That means when you have exhausted all your resources, then God, then God. But God was there all the time. Uh, Amen. Right. But you can go to God uh, anytime because Amen. you know you, we we all gonna have trying times. Yes. And there are gonna be times when we gonna need the Lord. Mm. And when you just can't see your way, anytime is a good time, you know, uh, and take it to the Lord in, to, in prayer and whatever Amen. it is, you can go to Him. Take it to anytime. Him anytime. Anytime, anytime. Uh -huh. And sometimes our problem is we never, you know, as long as things going good, we don't worry about That's calling right. on God. But That's you need right. to call on Him with good times That's and it. bad times. Right. Amen. Bless his holy name. Keep in mind verse tonight. Ezra 6 and 12. 12. And the God that has caused, caused his name to dwell there destroy all kings and people that shall put to their hand to alter and to destroy their house of God, which is at Jerusalem. I dare us have made a decree. Let it be done with speed. Ezra 6 and 12, King James Version. The Living Translation said, May the God who has chosen the city of Jerusalem as a place to honor his name, destroy any king of nation, nation that uh, violate this command and destroy this temple. I, Darius, have issued this decree. Let it be obeyed with all diligence. That's uh, uh, the New Living uh, Translation. Brothers and sisters, let's get into this lesson tonight. Once again, it's a beautiful <laughs> lesson. It's talking about freedom to worship and the children of Israel has returned now from uh, exile, from captivity, and, you know, back in their homeland and, and getting back to their homeland. They, they, they wanted to rebuild the temple. The temple had been torn down and a whole lot of things had happened since they left their homeland. Mm -hmm. And then God uses pagan kings to help them. And that's what I love about God. God can use, he wants to use. Right. Amen. We talk about Cyprus. Cyprus. We talked about him on last week. And now we're going to see this week in this study about a king named Darius and then about a governor named, I call him T.I. Amen. Mm -hmm. T.I. being the governor. Uh, and not only that, but the writer said he was a governor. Uh, not only that, was responsible for allowing the return of exile to build the temple of Jerusalem. Tena initially took issue with it, with this project, feeling as though it was an act of rebellion and undermined his authority. But after speaking with the leaders, returning exile, he sought to clear up the matter and receive these instructions from King Darius. And we're going to talk about this a little bit because no matter you're going to always have people like all of us or everyone that's listening to me tonight in our churches, we have a T.I. Mm -hmm. uh, T.I. is a governor. He was a governor here. Amen. And this governor didn't want the work of the Lord to go on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And how many of y'all been surrounded with people? Just refuse. Amen. If you doing it, get mad because you doing it. I wish somebody here me teach tonight. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Tai was he was he was rebellious against it. But but the king spoke. But God used pagan kings, mm -hmm. Cyprus and and uh 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 uh, uh Darius. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pagan kings to to carry out. His work. Yeah. Uh, the background, the book of Aaron is not written in a clear uh, chronological order, even though the events are described and telling the historical accounts between chapter 2 through 6. Ezra traces the history of rebuilding the temple, and I like this, and restoring worship. Now, restoring worship under King Cyprus in the Great Persian, and then the interruption of the rebuilding process. He said, Restore, restoring the worship. And brothers and sisters, look what we're going through now. Amen. Just this in this in this present time. There was time about two or three years ago we were love worshiping. We was in the house of the Lord worshiping. But now we don't want, I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Feel like we don't want to worship him anymore. Amen. Especially when it comes to the house of God. Amen. Amen. So this lesson is going to tell us something tonight. Amen. There was resistance to rebuilding the temple at Jerusalem for many side. People who were left in the city doing exile. Now remember, they left their hometown. Mm -hmm. Then they, they left some people there. People even migrated in there. Guess what? And they did not know their God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you see what's going on? Mm -hmm. They back in their homeland, mm -hmm. but they back with people who did not know their God. Isn't that something? That's in right. addition, the people had gotten distracted, focused on rebuilding their own home. Isn't that something? They were concerned about building their own homes 
and let God house go in the land. Mm -hmm. Lord, help us teach tonight now mm -hmm. and assimilate the culture around them rather than restoring worship at the temple. Mm -hmm. They were concerned about their own home. Well, they were worshiping other gods. That's, That's one it. thing they were doing. My they God. Were worshiping other gods. Isn't that something? Oh, this is an awesome mm -hmm. lesson tonight. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Matthew 6, 33. And all these things shall be added mm -hmm. unto you. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must worship the Lord high in spirit and in truth. So within this messy context of building, then stopping, they start and then they stop. Mm -hmm. Then face and continue resistance, we come to Ezra 6 when the rebellion continue renewed mm -hmm. with fervor. fervor. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this lesson tonight, we have three outlines. Number one is resurrected decree. That's uh, verses uh, chapter 6, Ezra 6, mm -hmm. 1 through 4. Restored protection. Amen. That's verses 5 through 7. And then a renewed, renewed resources. Renewed resources. And brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, this is a powerful, powerful lesson. So if you would, read those verses, verses uh, 1 through 4. Talking about a, a resurrected decree. Amen. Ezra 6, 1 uh -huh. through 4. Mm -hmm. So King Darius issued orders Listen. that a search be made in the Babylonian archives. Uh-huh which were stored in the treasury. My God. But it was at the fortress at Ecavante uh -huh. in the province of Media that a scroll was found. <coughs> yeah. This is what is said. All right. In memorandum. Okay. In the first year of King Cyrus' reign, a decree was sent out concerning the temple of God All at right. Jerusalem. Let the temple be rebuilt on the site where mm -hmm. Jews used to offer their sacrifices. Okay. Using the original foundations. Mm -hmm. Its height will be 90 feet and its width will be 90 feet. Every three layer of spe specially uh, prepared stone will be topped by a layer of timber. Mm -hmm. All expenses will be paid by the royal treasury. Lord, how much. I'm on, now look at this lesson tonight. Mm -hmm. The res a resurrected decree. And it's coming from uh, King Darius. He had, uh, King Darius uh, had to inspect, uh, investigate mm -hmm. uh, uh, to find out where the records lie because King Cyrus had already gave, given a decree mm -hmm. for them to rebuild uh, the temple. Now, it is a sign of wisdom and humility. Watch this now. Mm -hmm. because, because he had problems with a governor. Uh, uh, I call him Tanai, who who, who didn't really want them to rebuild. Mm -hmm. It sounds like politics to me. That's right. Amen. And we got a president, but we got some governors that don't want to go with the president. That's right. <laughs> I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. That's but right. <clears throat> it's a sign of wisdom and humility. Mm -hmm. The king looked for a decision of his predecessor rather than simply dismissing the prior, making a new decree himself. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. He made a new, he went into what the governor said, look, I'm making a new decree. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. The information was not found in the place he expected but in the forest and what? Fortress in a completely different city. Mm -hmm. I love this tonight, brothers and sisters. The original uh, decree from Cyprus that great was the Jews to rebuild their temple in the same place it had been. Okay. That, that, it was already written. Uh -huh. It was already written, document. Mm -hmm. To have it paid by. And not only build it, but it was already paid for mm -hmm. by the royal treasure. Isn't that something? And, 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 and that was the Persian Empire. This was an incredible, my beloved, set of circumstances that led to incredible news. Mm -hmm. God's will. I need to say this tonight. God's <laughs> will is done. Amen. God's will will be done. Yes, it will. No one, you, no one can block it, lock it. All you got to do is you can shake it. You got to take it. Mm -hmm. That's all I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because God's will will be done. God's will to have the Jews rebuild the temple were being carried out. And guess this. Guess what? He was using the wisdom and the authority and the resources of a conquering king mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome tonight? Mm -hmm. Think about it, brothers and sisters. God was using a king. God's will will be what? Done. Mm -hmm. he, king Darius is issued a decree and he made it legal to rebuild the temple. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Because of the work of Haggai. So you got to go back and read chapter 5. Uh, as of chapter 5 because they wanted to stop but God sent the prophets to speak mm -hmm. and they would have God and Zechariah. Amen. And you better be careful when a prophet speak. That's right. Amen. That's right. 2 Chronicles 20 and 20. Watch what, what it says about the prophet. Might want to write this verse down. Amen. Because God, the children of God 
uh, prosperous because of these two prophets. Amen. Amen. Uh, and when I said second uh, Chronicles, second Chronicles twenty and twenty. Amen. Praise God for His word tonight about the prophet. Second Chronicles twenty and twenty. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And it said, and they rose early in the morning. Listen now, listen. And went forth into the wilderness. All right. Of Tekoa. All right. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. Stood and said. What did he say? Hear me, O Judah. Hear me, O Judah. Told that being a prophet. Go ahead. And ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Uh huh. What did he say? Believe in the Lord your God. Uh huh. So shall ye establish uh -huh. belief in prophets. Uh huh. So shall ye prosper. You believe in the prophet. So you shall what? Prosper. prosper. Shall so shall ye what? Prosper. prosper. He said, believe now in who? That's what he said. Believe in, in the Lord prophets. your God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so you shall what? Prosper. I want to write that down. Believe. Believe in the Lord your God. You shall be established. Believe his prophet. You shall prosper. Mm -hmm. Through Jehoshaphat, God told the people they should do what? They could depend on him mm -hmm. and on his word. Mm -hmm. That's what we're trying to tell somebody tonight in this lesson. Mm -hmm. You can depend on God. You can depend on his word. When everybody else, when we got those Tainites, mm -hmm. them governors mm -hmm. in our churches, mm -hmm. amen, who refuse to go along with God's program, mm -hmm. they cannot stop God's program. Uh -huh. Amen. They cannot stop God's program. And that's what I love about it tonight. King Cyrus, about rebuilding the temple, had allowed to return them from exile. And not only that, but 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 here it is, this local the governor was suspicious, uh -huh. clad. And, and, and as he fired off a letter to King Cyrus, he was trying to put a stop to their effort. That's what the governor was trying to do. Uh -huh. Put a stop to their effort. They just couldn't seem to catch up. Maybe, and we can relate for this. Can we, can relate to this story right here. Mm -hmm. I'm in a time that we've been trying to do something for the Lord, and and people get in our way, and we mm -hmm. become frustrated. Mm -hmm. We become uh, disappointed. Mm -hmm. maybe, you, maybe you've been trying to do the right thing for a long time, and wonder why it always seems to be hard. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're wondering. And I'm trying to do God's will. Why? Will so why doesn't it make things easy? Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and we all been there. But but and sometimes God will give us a glimpse as a plan. But that doesn't mean that there's not some that, that we don't have some uh distractors right. and enemies mm -hmm. who want to come up against what God is doing for mm -hmm. us. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. So so my brother, nevertheless, here, here, here's a lesson for us, Anchor. And because sometimes things will just happen, but it's all for God's purpose. Yeah. It's all for God's purpose. Mm -hmm. And the first thing, you might want to even just write this down. I'm going to give one of my notes. First thing, we find that God is able to bring good even out of the hardest mm -hmm. circumstances we encounter. Mm -hmm. God is, well, is able to bring something good mm -hmm. out of the hardest circumstances mm -hmm. we encounter. It doesn't matter what kind of conflict it is. Amen. Or how you try to, Woo! like you always say, knock and block it. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. Whatever, however you try to shut it up and stop it. it. God, hey, he's stronger than we are. Isn't that something? Uh, anybody. So yeah, man. Gonna, whatever he wants to get done, it will be done. It will be done. Mm -hmm. It will be done. Praise mm -hmm. his holy name. But I, that, that, I got to go back to that governor, uh, Sister Bridget, that declared mm -hmm. uh, uh, Tanaya. And, and, and you'll read it there in the Bible. It's T-A-T-T-E-N-A-I. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the letter to King Darius. It was, it was yet another road block. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. to, that God's people had to face. Mm -hmm. And the letter thing to bring the whole project to a halt once again. <clears throat> Y'all know that? And you got to be all in need more. Mm -hmm. You need a war. Mm -hmm. The war can tear it down. That's right. Amen. If you stand back and let them. That's, that's, right. that's what tonight, tonight what, 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 what we're trying to do. But when, but when tonight's suspicion came to King Darius' attention, what was the result? Darius, watch this. He researched the archives himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. He went, he went and checked it out himself. He found what exactly what King Cyrus had already told him. Mm -hmm. It was already in the archives. Amen. Mm -hmm. it was, King Cyrus already told him, y'all go rebuild the temple. Mm -hmm. had, had given him permission mm -hmm. to rebuild, go to Jerusalem and rebuild. Uh, take many gold and silver vessels back to Jerusalem. And they can use for the original purpose. So Darius researched. Confirmed the claim of God, people, and vindicated them. Mm -hmm. But his research discovered something else. And that's what I love about it, y'all. I'm telling y'all, where well, there's a vision, there's provision. That's right. I need to say it again. Where well, there's vision, there's provision. Yes, it is. Not only did he tell them to build it. Not only did he tell them where to build it. Mm -hmm. 
But guess what he said? Don't worry about it. I'm going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. That's right. Isn't that awesome? And the thing about another thing about Praise this, God. Uh, Pastor that yeah. you know, they had, uh, when they're looking for these documents, yeah. see, God have a way of putting stuff away where nobody can find it. Well, nobody. he get ready to find it. Till he get ready. Because, you know, if you lay something down, people get stuff and destroy it. Because I know we've been there. Amen. We've done that. People Amen. destroy things. Amen. But God fixed the world. They're going to find them when he got ready for them to find it. Absolutely. Thank mm -hmm. you, Sister Bridget. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm trying to tell you, you cannot stop God's plan. That's right. I, and, and so we get mad. And, and, I, and, I, and I told y'all earlier, look, he, they they upset. Tanias and others upset. They taking care of their own house, mm -hmm. but were not concerned about God's house. Mm -hmm. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. Mm -hmm. But this is a good lesson here, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got enough nerve to take care of your house. If it weren't for the Lord, you wouldn't have a house. That's right. A place to live. Amen. Mm -hmm. here, here tonight you tell him, look, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no. We 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 we're not gonna do that. But watch this. Now, and here's, here's another good note. When Darius, uh Darius, King Darius read about the general office, instead of issuing a check of his personal bank account, he said the money has already been allotted. <laughs> That's right. Amen. And, and, and it was beside the opposition of Tanaya mm -hmm. that led to discover this royal grant. That means, watch this. Now here's a good one. That means if God, you might want to write it down. People had first faced a frustrating, uh, barrage, uh, 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 let me say, a devastating uh, situation. They wouldn't have gotten any of the government support of their project. That means God allowed them to go to to get through. Mm -hmm. I go through to get to. Mm -hmm. And while they were going through, God was already working it out. That's right. Isn't that something? I'm about to shout on this tonight. This is a good lesson. So, so my brother and sister, so we see that God brought great good out of opposition to his people. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Amen. Because we see God will, will Jews reveal the temple. That's a, that resurrection decree. Mm -hmm. And we can see that through, uh, in that first outline. It's easy. Let me give you another note. It's easy to lose hope when opposition come our way. That's right. It's easy to let roadblocks and the hassles make us doubt God and call on our lives. It, it, doubt God calls on our life. It's easy to let frustration, isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Convince us that we're completely off track. But anytime you do something for the Lord, it's always going to be opposition. So you That's might right. as well look for it. Amen. Amen. Because there are always going to be some devil trying to stop and block God's progress. Block God's progress. Amen. Yeah, so, I don't care what you do. Start doing something. You watch. It's going to be a roadblock. It's always going to bring up something. Amen. To stop it. Amen. Amen. And, and, and Jane Cleveland, the late Jane Cleveland said, no one told you. <laughs> huh? That just wasn't right. Gonna that the road going to be easy. Amen. Uh -huh. But he said in that song, he said, I, I just don't believe. That's right. He brought, brought me this far to leave. to leave me now. That's enough to make you shout tonight, yeah. mm -hmm. Amen. This is also a lesson. It's easy to let frustration convince us that we're completely off track. But if we're seeking to live our life, mm -hmm. so we just said, according to God's word. Yeah. See, at God's word. Look, our life got to line up with God's right. word. That's right. Amen. It's got to line up with God's word. And if we are trying to accomplish things that are in agreement with his will, we need to remember what God's people. I love this tonight. Mm -hmm. Learn in the days when, when the second temple was built. Mm -hmm. Here it is. God continued to bring great good out of the most difficult circumstances. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. God continued to do that. I love it tonight. And that's what he's teaching us in this lesson tonight. A resurrection decree. Mm -hmm. Look at the, um, the second outline. is a restored uh, protection. And that verse 5 through 7. Amen. 5 through 7. Mm -hmm. It says, furthermore, the gold and silver cups. Yeah. Which were taken to Babylon yeah. by Nebuchadnezzar yeah. from the temple of God in uh, Jerusalem uh -huh. must be returned to Jerusalem Lord Jesus. and put back where they belong. Yeah. Let them be taken back to the temple Listen. of God. Listen. So King Darius sent this message. Now therefore, Taniah, <sighs> yeah. governor of the province west of the Euphrates River, uh -huh. and Shethar Bozaniah, and your colleagues and mm -hmm. other officials west of the Euphrates River. 
river. Uh -huh. Stay away from there. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Do not disturb the construction Whoa. of the temple of God. What you say? Go do ahead. not disturb the <laughs> construction of the temple of God. All right. Let it be rebuilt on its original site. Go ahead. And do not hinder the governor of Judah uh -huh. and the elders of the Jews in their work. Oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy. Help us teach tonight. Mm -hmm. Let be careful getting in God's way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, there's a scripture in Acts. I'm going to think about 50. If it's not of God. All right, it, it won't stand. But if, if, is it a, is, if it is of God, it will stand. Mm -hmm. It will stand. Brothers and sisters, and this lesson is teaching that restored protection. Mm -hmm. Not only, look what, the, look what the king is saying to him. I mean, King Darius add to this decree, but material that was stolen, what? From the moment, now you got to go back and read Owen oh, Daniel and Nebuchadnezzar and all. And when they, they took those gold, all that gold, the cups and everything mm -hmm. from the temple. They looked, they balanced. They were having a good time. Mm -hmm. I tell you, remember what they said? I uh, saw their hand writing on the wall. Go back and read it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so you've been found worn unbalanced. Amen. Mm -hmm. So so God said, look, look. See, we already said all that stuff they stole and everything. God getting ready to restore. Mm -hmm. That made me say everything the devil stole from me. God getting ready to give it back. Mm -hmm. Everything the devil stole from me. Yeah. God's getting ready to give it back. Mm -hmm. All right. For, further, watch this here. Further, in addition, to restoring the precious treasure, the king restored the protection of Judah. Mm -hmm. and, and he already said, leave him alone. Mm -hmm. What that bird says, <laughs> Sister Ben, King David told him about. It's verse 7, read verse 7 again. Seven said, Do not disturb the construction of the temple of God. Do not disturb it. Let it be rebuilt on its original site. Hell and Lord. do not hinder the governor of Judah Jesus, hell and the elders of the Jews in Ooh, their work. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Not only did he restore the treasure, but there is protection. Uh, he commanded his government to lead the Jews alone as they rebuild the temple. Isn't that something? Huh? And to command all of his uh, other officials in the region to leave the Jews alone as well. I'm trying to tell you, when God is for you, Roman chapter 8, when God is for you, who can be against you? Roman chapter 8. It's right there. Read Roman chapter 8. When God is for you, who can be against you? Uh -huh. Amen. Praise this. this will not only protect the peace of the people of Judah as they reveal. Because it's hard sometimes trying to do something from the Lord and you got people always nagging. People mm -hmm. always trying to tear you down. Mm -hmm. People always saying this and that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do the work for the Lord. I know it is. Been there, done that. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you tonight, keep your eyes on the Lord. Mm -hmm. it's the keep, keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. And that, that, that 828 is the one that said, for we know that all things mm -hmm. work together. For the good of them that what? Love God. That love God. Amen. To them who are called, called according, according to the purpose. purpose. Amen. And so, so we do know tonight, brothers and sisters, when you're working for the Lord, you can look for oppositions. Mm -hmm. Amen. Even Jesus himself had oppositions. Mm -hmm. And he even said, you're going to be hated for my name's sake. Right. Isn't that right? Look at this, a beautiful lesson tonight. So not only the first thing, God continued to bring great uh Good out of the most difficult circumstances. I want to write this one down too before we move to this next outline. Amen. That that he also chooses to use imperfect people to accomplish his purpose. Mm -hmm. Write that down. He used imperfect people to accomplish his purpose. Now you can go all through the Bible. Now these were pagan kings. Mm -hmm. They had all different gods. Mm -hmm. But God used pagan kings to help get his people back in order. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God will use your enemy to help you get right. Yes, sir. Lord, help me teach tonight. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, 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 have, you, have you heard that person tell you, oh, look, you, 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 you in church, they not in church, and, and you doing some things, they now you supposed to be in the church, and what you doing all that? Mm -hmm. huh? And mm -hmm. they not in the church. Mm -hmm. Make you start thinking. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So he can use imperfect people. And we can see that tonight, brother. He chooses that. Look what. This is certainly the case when it came to Cyprus and Darius. All right? To rebuild the temple. After all, we have no reason to believe that Cyrus was converted to Judaism. Mm -hmm. Amen. He did not say it. Mm -hmm. All right? Well, why, not on that. But, but so why did he permit such a project to go forward? Mm -hmm. Why did he insist on paying for it all? Not only told him I'm going to protect it, but I'm going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that'll make you shout right there. Mm -hmm. Well, it was probably engaged in a pure politics. I told you sound like politics or not. Huh? Reversing the harsh resettlement program as a Syrian Babylon. Encouraging people to worship their own gods, small g. Mm -hmm. 
See what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they had many gods, all right? Small G, in order to be a lord in this new multicultural empire. Darius probably, King Darius probably had the same motives. Mm -hmm. And that's something. He wasn't very closely related to Cyrus at all. So he had seized power of defeating another rival of the throne. But, but my brothers and sisters, here it is tonight. That's not to say that Cyrus and Darius didn't have religious reason for their action. Mm -hmm. They was pagans, kings after all. Mm -hmm. The word pagan means they didn't believe in the true God. Mm -hmm. Amen. They didn't believe in the true God. They had other God. Mm -hmm. Believe in different God. Such so they saw harm and encouraging many different peoples of their empire to worship lots of different God. Mm -hmm. Watch this. As long as they said some prayers for the Persian kings as well. Isn't that so? Mm -hmm. and, you know, and you know they, 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 they were serving God had eyes couldn't see. Had ears couldn't hear. Mm -hmm. Huh? Come on. Oh, well, I, I, they can get something out of this deal here. All right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> get something out of the deal. Yes. But brothers and sisters, I want y'all to know tonight, God, look, the deal is already set. Already set. It's already set. <laughs> Amen. And I'm going to tell you, give you up, give you this disclaimer. If God is not in it, it's best you get out of it. Mm -hmm. Just simple as that. And, and, and I love this tonight. Uh, the, the, uh, there is, but God's people. Now, this, but, but God's people now, be here it was. And so we have no reason to believe that either Cyprus or King Darius, now watch this here, were true worshipers of the one true God. Mm -hmm. That we, we Watch this now. They were most likely just politicians. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. And as such, they were most likely instrument God might have chosen to come as his will. But what? But God's people were, were, weren't a whole lot better, class. Mm -hmm. They weren't a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because watch this here. Uh, unlike those pagan kings, may have had their theology of ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. They may have known more about who the true God is, but where it came to putting their faith into action, they didn't have much of an advantage. Mm -hmm. Now, it's one thing to know God, mm -hmm. but it's another thing to put your faith in action with God. That's right. We talk about God. That's right. We love God. We're going to do this. But but what was your faith? That's right. Where is your faith? Where's your faith? That's what I want to know tonight. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, look, look what we are going through. Look what we're living through right now. Mm. But my question tonight, where, where, where is your faith? Huh? Where, where is your faith? Mm. At all, brothers and sisters, that God, God sent Haggai, go to chapter 5, and Zechariah to chastise and encourage the people to get off square one. Mm -hmm. It took 16 years. Go back and read Break from their temple building project. Mm -hmm. They start and they stop. Mm -hmm. Start and they stop. Isn't that something? Start and stop. Isn't that something? It's that's something. just like the church to me. Yeah. Start and they stop. <laughs> start and they stop. Huh? Uh -huh. I, something like, I don't know what it is. Seems like the enthusiasm dies down. Mm -hmm. Start and they stop. One Sunday you're motivated, next Sunday you're not motivated. One day you're motivated, next day you're not motivated. Huh? Start and stop. Mm -hmm. it, it's something that's, Lord help us teach tonight. Mm -hmm. 16 years break from them. They allowed despair and discouragement to stop them from doing what they knew God wanted them to do. Mm -hmm. Anytime you stop, that give the devil time to get in there with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And see, it start talking to you. They listen to everybody. You can't listen to everybody. Mm -hmm. And then start talking to your mind. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then you start going back in the past. What happened in the past? Mm -hmm. With all this and everything. Don't you ever forget, you got some problems too. Amen. Amen. And that's something. Mm -hmm. And so we see this tonight. We got to hear, but this is a good lesson. It, it, it stopped them. It's to encourage them and stop them from doing what God wanted them to do. Imperfect people. Cyprus and Darius. Mm -hmm. God used. Huh? Amen. God could use who he wanted you. Isn't that something? And, and, and what I love about this, and I want to simply go this right there, this is in your book. Not in your book, but in the Bible. Uh, in the first verse. Tells us about read Ezra the first the first verse. This is Ezra chapter one and verse one. Listen now, because I'm talking about imperfect people, God can use whoever He wants to use. Look at Ezra chapter one and the very first verse that caught my attention. Ezra what now? Ezra chapter one and verse one. Verse one. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says now in the first year of Cyrus, uh -huh. king of Persia. Right. 
that the word of the Lord yeah. by the mouth of Jeremiah what happened? might be fulfilled. Might be for what? Fulfilled. Uh-huh. The Lord stirred up that the spirit. Is. Go ahead. The Lord did what? He stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia. That's go. That he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom. Lord Jesus. And put it also in writing, saying. Yes, sir. That's it. And, and, but I wanted them to know that. So he told them, he wanted them to go back and rebuild the temple. He stirred them up. Mm -hmm. Huh? Look, God can use imperfect people. Mm -hmm. you, ever, you ever been around people, they don't know something, they're saying the right thing, mm -hmm. and they don't know why they're saying the right thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't want to say the right thing, mm -hmm. but they're saying the right thing, mm -hmm. and they want to let know why did I say what I say. Mm -hmm. God will stir it up. Mm -hmm. God, in, in, imperfect people. Look at verse, not only that, and then verse, uh, uh, chapter 1, verse 5, how God moved the spirit of those. Read verse 5. This is Ezra 1 and 5. Watch this. It says, then rose up uh -huh. the chief of the fathers of Judah Listen. and Benjamin no. and the priests and yeah. the Levites yeah. and all them whose spirit God had raised Listen. to go up to build the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem. I, I'm trying to tell y'all tonight we got to hear a close. We got one raised. Line. Spirit that raised. Spirit raised. Spirit raised. So God I, has to touch you. That, that's right. God got to touch you. That's right. And, and then God has a remnant. When yeah. I mean a remnant, mm -hmm. there's a certain group that God can use to yes. get his Pokemon. That's right. And you be sitting there looking. Jew and Gentile. Uh, that's right. He used you, both of them. He used both of them. Mm -hmm. and you, you be sitting there looking. But but he stirred a group up. Mm -hmm. And, and y'all see what happened there. And this is what I, uh, I we learned. He moved the spirit of those who made the long journey back. Even though many more strayed behind y'all. Mm -hmm. So yep. And you're going to have that. You hear what I just said? Everybody, many, not, going everybody not going with you. Many of them stayed behind. Y'all with me? And, and, and once the project ball, God spoke to Haggai and Zechariah. God always got a man for the plane mm -hmm. to get the people moving again. None of these human actors, uh-oh, were anywhere close to perfect. Mm -hmm. But God still chose to work his good and perfect will through their life. Amen. We need to take this lesson to heart. That's right. Now, for if difficult circumstances can make us doubt God's power to help us, when we look at our own weakness, it is also easy. Now look at this here. It's also easy mm -hmm. uh, for us to doubt whether God will want us at all. Mm -hmm. When we look at the continuous sin in our life, it's easy for us to doubt God could ever love people like us. Mm -hmm. But if God can use a pagan king That's right. and, and fearful, reluctant people to build the second temple, he could use people like us to accomplish his purpose tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Last outline, Sister Bridget. Look at the renewed uh, uh, resources, verses 8 through 12. 8 says, Moreover, uh -huh, more. I hereby decree I hereby that decree. you are to help these elders of the Jews wow. as they rebuild the temple of God. Uh -huh. You must pay the full construction cost Listen. without delay Jesus. from my taxes collected in the province west of the Euphrates River yeah. so that the work will not be interrupted. The work will not be, Lord have mercy. The work will not be what? Interrupted. Interrupted. Uh, go ahead. Is that Give good? the priest go in ahead. Jerusalem whatever is needed listen, in the listen. way of young bulls, rams, and male lambs <laughs> for the burnt offerings presented to the God of heaven. Lord, help us tonight. But without fail, provide them with much wheat, salt, wine, mm. and olive oil as mm. they need each day. Mm. Ten. Then they will be able to offer acceptable Except sacrifices to God of heaven. And pray for the welfare of the king and his son. Listen. Eleven. Here we go. Those who violate this decree uh -oh. anyway uh -oh. Uh -oh. will uh -oh. have a beam pulled from their house. From their own house. Yes. Go ahead. Then go ahead. They will be lifted up and impaled on it, and their house. Ooh. And their house will be reduced to a pile of rubble. Good. God. Twelve. In conclusion, may the God who has chosen the city of Jerusalem as a place to honor His name. Destroy any king or nation Ooh. that violates this command and destroy this temple. Lord Jesus. I, Darius, have issued this decree. Let, Let it be obeyed with all diligence. We got to close it. We got, we've been on for a while. Mm -hmm. Brother, this is a good lesson. But that, that is the renewed uh, resources. resources. I, I'm trying to tell you all, God is a source. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm at a point now in ministry that it doesn't faze me. If God said it, it's going to be that's, done. That's right. I, I, I'm just at that point now. The final portion of this verse instructs the governor to help the people of Judah rebuild the temple. Mm -hmm. if God, let me tell you, 
Sometimes God will use on the outside. He'll mm -hmm. always use those on the inside. Amen. He'll use those on the outside yeah. to get his program across. That's right. Amen. Yeah. I, 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 this, this goes a step beyond leaving them alone to actually helping them. What a testimony of God's power Amen. that those who were and still are enemies are used as servers and helpers. Mm -hmm. Good God of my, I'm telling you, I just preached something. God said, look, my enemy, he's here, he'll do it. God will do it. Mm -hmm. Huh? God, he'll make an enemy come to your footstool. God will do that. And God will use him. He'll make an enemy feed you. Amen. Huh? That's right. God will do it. Mm -hmm. King, King Darius doesn't stop there. He wants to make sure the priests have everything they need mm -hmm. to give proper sacrifice to the Lord. Not just once, but consistently. Mm -hmm. He asked that they honor the Lord on his behalf as well. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a note for someone right here. He asked that they honor the Lord on them. Mm -hmm. But here, here's a note. He is an unbeliever, watch this, who wants to help God's people worship and add his own worship as well. An unbeliever mm -hmm. who want to help God's people worship. <laughs> and that's not that. Huh? And then add his own worship as well. Huh? And we talking about worshiping God. Oh, this is a beautiful lesson tonight. I'm going to tell y'all, brothers and sisters, and I believe God is calling us for such a time like this to rebuild, rekindle that worship spirit. That's right. Amen. Rebuild, rekindle that worship spirit. But man, that's just like we have uh, uh, public officials that when they're trying to do something, they will come to you and they know you're Christians and they think you're going to do what they say. Yeah. And they'll try to uh, manipulate you to do things but what they don't realize that what they think they're doing something. Yeah, yeah. But God is already in the, he's in the plan. God is already in He's going to fix it anyway. Uh, regardless uh, of how they try to manipulate uh, How they try to manipulate it, God is already doing it. That's right. Amen. We, God. Should, we should not let opposition discourage us. Absolutely. You know, because in due season, God is going to complete what he's uh, set out That's to what do. it's uh, Philippians chapter 1. Mm -hmm. And you'll find about, I think, verse 9. When the word God is starting, he's going to complete it. He's going to complete it. Yeah. He's going to complete, complete it. And but, but the last part of this lesson, it says now, and we have to be careful messing with God's children, That's messing right. with God's plan. Mm -hmm. But be careful. Because he said, last the king asked that anyone who tried to stop uh, the Jews from rebuilding their temple mm -hmm. will be executed. Watch this. Hallelujah. Their houses destroyed. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. The Bible said this. Be careful how you deal with God's children. Amen. Be careful how you deal with God's house. Amen. Why? The king had spoken and his decree will not be broken. Mm. Huh? Isn't that something to think about? So tonight, I've told you a couple of things tonight that God, even when we deal with opposition, the last, that God chose what? Imperfect people mm. to accomplish his will. Mm. Huh? That's what God would do. He, he chose unperfect people. And brothers and sisters left a 16 year, 14 year delay, all it. And then Tanai has some friends to help him as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Sheta, what, uh, what, B O Z N A, Bosna, even a uh, 16 year long delay. They, they try to stop, mm -hmm. amen, the, from building the temple after that. What? And there's nothing that anyone can do to stop mm. this new temple from being built. Amen. No one can stop it. Mm. In other words, it's only because they have trusted in a perfect sacrifice. Isn't that something? As we think of Jesus who paid for our sin, he was perfect. We was imperfect. Huh? They couldn't stop him. Huh? And then not only that, we've been able, he made us holy, fit to serve in his holy temple. Mm -hmm. We are the temple of God. Amen. And and, 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 and and when you read uh, uh, First Corinthians, it talks about being a temple of God. Mm -hmm. He will not dwell in a what? Unclean, Unclean temple. temple. But it says, no matter what tribulation, what opposition we may face, let us endure. If there is no human king who can stop us, mm -hmm. let us not allow any disappointment to deter us. Let us rise up and build a temple. Mm -hmm. Rekill the temple. Huh? This is a time to rekill that worship now. Mm -hmm. if this is a time to do it. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. knowing that God's sovereign power cannot be overthrown mm -hmm. and God's sovereign cannot be denied. Brothers and sisters, this is a good lesson tonight. And I, and I, I want to close with this because, and we look at it talking about the worship. And, but I'm, here's a verse that is a powerful illustration because God used this king to deny you the governor, try to stop him, but God used him. Yeah. The man who, who, who would have hindered straight the progress of the building was compelled not only not to him but to help with great gifts. Mm -hmm. God turned around and used the enemy. Mm -hmm. 
they help give gifts. God will turn around and help in and help give money for the building of his kingdom. Yeah. That's right. And, and that, read this verse. So let's read, read Proverbs 21 and 1. This is a powerful illustration of, of the principle of what God uh, can do. Yeah, Proverbs uh, 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 21 and 1. We're getting ready to close out in a moment. Amen. Proverbs 21 and 1. <clears throat> Praise God for his word. A it says, lesson, it? the king's heart the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Is in the hands of the Lord. <coughs> As the rivers of waters, he turneth it whithersoever he wills. Whithersoever he wills. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it from the Living Bible. We're going to close it out in a moment, brothers and sisters. That's Proverbs uh, uh, 21, 21 and 1. Listen to what the word of God says. It's awesome. Oh my God. I love this word tonight. Amen. What an awesome word. Freedom to worship. Freedom to worship. Mm -hmm. Then I want to get Hebrew 10, 25 from in just a moment. Mm -hmm. But uh, before we're going to close it out with that. What I said, Proverbs uh, 21 and 1. Mm -hmm. Now listen to this. 21 and 1. This is living, New Living Translation. It says this. Uh, whosoever, uh, yeah, Proverbs 21 and 1. Say, whosoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness, and honor. That's 21 and 1. Did I read that right? I'm sorry. Proverbs 21 and 1. I read the wrong verse. Here's 21 and 1. The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. Mm -hmm. The king's heart, huh? It's like a rock, like a what? It's like a screen of water directed by the Lord. But guess what? The Lord guides it as he pleases. Mm -hmm. Not as the people please, but as God please. God We're talking about freedom to worship, brothers and sisters. Freedom mm -hmm. to worship. What, what what the scripture says there in is it Hebrew ten twenty five. Oh uh, yeah. Uh huh. What about it? not the second. That, that's it. That's it. That, that's it right there. Hebrew Hebrew ten. These people wanted to worship so bad. They wanted to build a temple, and, and, and God had already made provision uh, for them. Amen. To pay for the temple, pay for the building, the project. Gifts was already being given and everything. But look what he said and how, uh, how how important it is about this worshiping. Amen. Hebrews 10, 25 said, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together Whoa -oh. as the manner of some is, what? but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. All right, the day approaching. When we come together, I'm talking about cooperative worship. Amen. We are coming together not to worship uh, ourselves, but we are coming to worship him. And then when we do that, we're encouraging one another. Amen. Amen. We're encouraging one another. The New Living Translation says it. This is Hebrew 10, 25. It says, and let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encouraging one another, especially now the day of his return is drawing near. The Lord is soon to come back. The Lord is soon uh, to come back. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, as we close this lesson tonight, uh, let us keep in mind we talk about freedom to worship. Sometimes people focus on their own adverse situation rather than seeking guidance from God. Mm -hmm. And this is what the lesson we were teaching us tonight. Amen. That, uh, that, that when we seek our own guidance, we end up in trouble. And Ezra showed us that when we recognize and confess our failing, God is ready to listen and support us even in unexpected ways. Mm -hmm. Amen. God's will will be done. Conclusion, never, God never leave us alone to face a difficult situation. He will raise up people and send them our way to strengthen us. Likewise, we need to be sensitive to God's calling on our life. And it may be that he wants to use us to strengthen others. That was Hebrew 10, 25. Amen. God bless you. Anything else, Sister Bishop? God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. Let us not forget to continue to pray for one another. Keep each other lifted up in prayer. This was such an awesome lesson tonight. Freedom to worship. We're going back to rebuild the temple and rebuilding the temple tonight. He has some oppositions, and anytime you get ready to do something for the Lord, mm -hmm. there's always be some oppositions. Mm -hmm. Remember, like I said, and I like what the writer said at the end. He said, if anyone tried to temple with those who uh trying to build God's house or do something at God's house, God said he'll destroy your house. Mm -hmm. I didn't say it, God said it. Right. Amen. So we need to keep our priorities in place. Mm -hmm. Amen. Once again, let's keep each other lifted up in prayer. Remember. Time goes back. Amen. Time, Time goes up, right? fall, spring forward in the, mm -hmm. in, the, in the spring 
on this coming on this Saturday, spring up one hour. Amen. Spring forward, spring forward. Remember, we fall back in the fall, mm -hmm. but we spring forward in the fall. <laughs> the spring. So one hour, six o'clock up for one hour on Saturday. God bless you. Live screening. Connect with us on our YouTube. Uh, and we had a little problem. Uh, probably we'll get it together. Uh, we, we, uh, when I'm changing the YouTube uh, connection, uh, it's B1. It's a capital B1. BCTV. Pray. It, it, uh, amen. It's a YouTube. It's B1. Amen. B1. BC. MBC TV. I'm sorry. B1. MBC TV. MBC TV. I'm trying to do it like that so y'all can see it to be sure. Probably we have, uh, uh, we have to change it. Bring uh, realize today that we're having some problems. So, but tune in on each Wednesday night uh, and subscribe to our new YouTube channel. That is, that is it. That's the capital B1 MBC TV. God bless you. Uh, keep uh, Reverend Davis in prayer. Sister Pass, a funeral service will be uh, tomorrow at 11.30 there at the Union Mission and Baptist Church in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. So God bless you. We have a smile of honors. Keep each other in prayer. Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us of the importance of your house, the importance of worshiping you and, and being real about worship. And so we thank you tonight for teaching us that, how uh, the children of Israel, how they went back to rebuild. And then thank you for the resources and you being the source. Thank you for uh, 